Well, hello, YouTube. It's still me. I'm still here. It's Tri-State EDC. On a Tuesday before the live stream, a lot of mail showed up uh, yesterday on Monday, and I did not have time to open, well, any of it, if I'm being honest with you. But we got this big-ass, heavy-ass box from Mike McLaughlin. You know him. He's in the chat all the time. He's in the live stream chat. He's a, he's a, a dynamite member of the community, and he sent me this, and I don't know what it is. Um, but it is heavy, and it is bulging at the seams, so we ought to bust it open. Together. That's right, Mike. Thank you so much, Mr. McLaughlin, you sweet at. Huh? Let's use... What are we going to use? What are we going to use to open this? I don't know. Uh, how about this little throwback? The Civivi Hadros, designed by Dylan Mallory. Love this. 10CR15 MOV. A great steel. Great budget knife. Uh, it has its quirks, but uh, just look at it. Just look at it. So that's what we're going to use. Try not to injure ourselves. Real nice hollow grind on this. Very pointy, stabby, worn cliffy tip. Hello! What in the hell? Cole! The 7K giveaway was great, but the 8K needs more variety. These should help. The non-knife item is for the channel. Thanks for being so entertaining. Don't forget don't forget us when you're as big as MC, Mike M. The band-aid should last you a day. <laughs> Mike, thank you, man. What is all this? What is all this? There's a finch in here. I've never had a finch on the channel. This is big. This is big news, little sack. What is all this, Chief? What we got going on here? An Orion? Okay, all right. What else we got in here? What is this? We got a Boker? Got a Boker? Sign me up. Beautiful stuff. We do have... This is about a day's worth of Band-Aids. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that statement. That'll get me through this unboxing at the very least. <laughs> Whoa, we got a concept. All of these are for giveaway? Man, shout out to Mike. Leave a comment down below thinking, Mike, this is way too kind. Another concept. And then this. Ooh, a wind chime? Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike, you dirty dog. Another Band-Aid, by the way. Nothing left in here. It's full of peanuts, so I'm not going to throw it. Sorry, Mike. I know everybody loves it when I do that. Uh, Band-Aids everywhere. Peanuts everywhere. What a mess. What a mess. All right, well, let's uh, let's start with the obvious, right? The friggin' wind chime? Why do you have a Chinese wind chime? Why did you have a Chinese wind chime? Did you buy this just for this... <laughs> just for this moment? Is it a wind chime? <laughs> it's a fucking wind chime. It's a tiny gong! Where did you find this, dude? <laughs> I've been dying to get a tiny gong for the channel. This is huge, dude. This is huge. Holy crap. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> for, uh, it says, for when someone makes an Ed Harrison level donation. Yeah, if somebody pops in like Uncle Ed, they're getting the, the gong of Mike. He even wrote on it. Ip, ip. He even wrote on it, and it says, The Ed Harrison Tinkly Bell. I agree with that. I agree with that statement very much so. Well, let's give it a little ting -a ling a ling see what she sounds like here. Very annoying. It's the, per <laughs> it's the perfect level of annoying. <laughs> Boy, my wife's gonna hate that. Thank you, <laughs> It's too good. You do, it's too it's too kind. You shouldn't have. That's excellent. That's gonna live there. Please don't fall. Let me put my little dinger away. I hate it when my dinger gets lost. I don't want to lose my dinger. Well, let's get into some knives, dude. Uh, five of them all together. We're just gonna start with the Finch, shall we? Let's do that. I say we do that. This is the Finch Unknown Chernobyl Ant. What? I've never had a Finch on the channel. I've heard great things. Just none of their knives really ever spoke to me. But this is a very nice looking knife. Stainless steel clip. Stainless steel liner lock. Jimping. Old school meets new school, right? It's a stainless liner lock with a flipper. In this beautiful hardwood finish with the uh, Finch logo inlaid there in the center. Very nice looking. Nice standoffs. The speedles in the clip I could do without. But all things considered. Ooh, detents money. Really nice. 14C28N Chernobyl Ant. 
don't not it doesn't seem radioactive but things could change this will be a long video so things could change by the end of it really nice hand rubbed satin finish on the blade nice jimping on the uh, on the blade spine there yeah ergos feels great locked in no worries cash money no worries no finger choil but you can choke up on the flipper tab that feels great as well no issues no problemo pinch grip oh yeah all day pinch grip feels great very nice action running on bearings Ooh, drops yeah ceramic bearings oh yeah oh super smooth on the clothes pivots a little uh a little out of whack hold on got my mbk bit driver here all american made let's let me cinch it up a little bit let me cinch that up oh yeah much better yeah detent super nice Closing action's absurdly smooth. Not sure who the OEM is on these or how much this is. Future me, Chernobyl ant, made by who? How much does it cost? Thank you. Very, very nice. Very nice. We'll do an acoustics and cutting at the end to make sure this video is not several hours long. The Finch Chernobyl ant. Very nice. Like, really impressive. I, again, I've heard amazing things about Finch knives in general. I just never had one or went out of my way to get one. But it's, imp it's an impressive piece. Next up, Orion Cetus. We've been talking about this one in the live stream several times. With an extra pocket clip. Very nice. Yeah, this is a very interesting knife. Extra clip's a nice touch. Very nice touch. Limited lifetime warranty. Love to see that. Invest in your lifestyle. Kind of a, you know, what are you going to do? Not my favorite catchphrase ever. Not sure who the manufacturer is on these either. Not American made, but I don't care. Very interesting knife. Once again with the hardwood, or at least faux hardwood. Copper backspacer? Copper anodized backspacer? It's a weighty boy. Also a full-size knife. Size comparison on this one. Here's the uh, Finch, by the way. Finch is a little guy. That Finch Chernobyl Ant's a little cutie. Smaller than the pair of three. The Cetus is right about the same size. A little bit bigger. Somewhere between the pair of three and the PM2. That's where the, the Cetus lands. But it's a very interesting looking knife. Feels good in the hand. Feels solid. Well built. Deep carry pocket clip. Pretty minimal hardware. Reversible pocket clip as well. We got the flicking hole. We got a flipper. We got nice jimping air on the blade spine. Alright, let's give her a flip, Rooney. Oh, yeah. Look at that blade. It's a very banana-ish knife. Very banana-esque. You know what I mean? And I approve of that. I like that. 14C, 28 in on the blade here. Nice hollow grind as well. Very subtle hollow grind on that blade. Don't even know what to call it. Sheep's foot? I'd call that a sheep's foot, right? I think we can all live with that. Uh, stainless. Kind of a frame lock. Kind of with overlays. So, yeah, frame lock. Oh, God, yeah. Running on bearings once again. Uh, oh, Ergo's in hand. Yeah. Feels great. Thumb on the jimping. Love that. I love this. I I'm home sweet home. This feels great. No issues. No gripes. No complaints. Feels good. No, a uh, little bit of a finger choil you can get to about here. That feels fine. No issues there. Pinch grip. Oh, yeah. All day. <laughs> yeah, dude. All day with the pinch grip on this one. Very, very good. Very nice, Ergo's. Action on bearings. Yeah. Reverse flick, super snappy, detents great, feels nice, flipper works great, thumb flick, yeah, fidgety, fidgety goodness, all day, all day, makes a good noise too, this one, yeah, yeah, all day. So there you go, the Cetus. I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed with this one. Uh, again, cut test at the end of the video. I'm really impressed with it. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I've liked the way it looked for a while. I just never had it on the channel. I've never had an Orion Knives on the channel. So this is two firsts, back to back. Mike, you sweetheart. I got a gong and two knives I've never handled before. Very, very nice. The Cetus. Uh, the Cetus. All right. Well, we got a couple of concepts here. Been a while since I've had a concept on the channel. So let's bust into these babies right quick. Love their packaging. Concept does good work. They did reach out to me. I am going to start working with them as a brand. Uh, but nothing has arrived quite yet. Not yet, anyway. Nice pouch. Comes with the knife. This is the Reverie. Justin Lundquist design. Very, very nice. Look at that. G10. Budget-friendly knife. Future me. How much is this? The uh, 
Concept Reverie. Really nice stamp deep carry clip there. Jimping. Very nice jimping on the blade spine. Crowned spine as well. Top flipper. Top flipper only. Top flipper front flipper. Skeleton eye stainless steel liner. G10 backspacer. Faux bolster. Interesting looking piece. Feels good in the hand. Let's give her a top flip. Oh, snappy. Look at that. Real nice flat ground what is the blade steel on this 154 cm on the blade steel nice stone wash there ergo's in hand yeah feels great really well knocked down no sharp edges no hot spots no pinch points feels good you can choke up to right about there that feels okay no issues there pinch grip oh yeah sure why not all day i'd pinch grip that baby to the moon and back sure why not very nice Nice looking knife, not typically my style, but all in all, a really well put together knife. And I love Justin Lundquist's design language. Um, access to the liner could be a little bit better, but that's really my only gripe. So you can front flip it, action wise, running on bearings by the way. You can do the old reach around top flip. Yeah, dude. Can I do the side of my finger? Whoop. Oh yeah, really snappy detent. Very interesting. The friction of your finger just grabs that and... Well, swing! Very satisfying. Let's see the acoustics on that. Thwack! Damn, dude. It sounds like somebody's getting slapped in the face. Very, very cool. The concept reverie. Very nice. Very, very nice. Man, they just keep coming. You know? How am I going to get all this put away and do a live stream tonight? God help me, Mike. Don't worry. There's another concept. This one is the mini occipiter. Well, I'll be. Very, very nice. Shut that down. Shut her down, baby. What do we got in here? What do we have in here? Ooh, ooh. I don't like this. Nice micarta, but there's no texturing to it. This is the Concept Mini Occipiter. Again, skeletonized stainless steel liners, G10 backspacer. I think this is micarta. It's very, very smooth. There's no real texturing or grippiness. Again, the crown spine on the, on the, uh, the concepts is such a nice touch. Such a great touch. T8 hardware looks like. T6 on the body screws. Nothing crazy. Again, stamp deep carry clip. Front flipper only, once again. Ow. Woo. Yeah, nice looking knife. Clean, simple, classy. No worries. Not a huge knife. Uh, here's By the way, I'll give you a size comparison for both of these real quick. Boom. So we have the mini occipiter up here. A little bit smaller than the pair of three, and the Reverie is right about the same size as the pair of three. So, again, both very good size for EDC. No real complaints about size or weight. They're both very reasonable. Very reasonable pieces. Ergos on the Mini Occipiter. Yeah, it's little. I'm kind of falling off the ass end here. But, uh, again, nice jimping here. Crown spine. Super soft and mushy. Like, like, you're just snuggling up with a stick of butter. Feels great. Tall flat grind. Blade steel on this one is 154cm once again we got a sharpening choil no real finger choil but it's so small you don't really need it right about here feels fine no issues with that pinch grip oh yeah all day both of the the concepts are cash money for the pinch grip that feels excellent that crown spine just adds an extra air of classiness and comfort to what would otherwise just be a basic budget knife stainless steel liner lock oh actions unreal ceramic bearings once again oh yeah Nice and snappy detent. Give it the give it the side of the thumb, the side of the finger work great. Give it the reach around. Sure. Reach around works great. Love it. Live it. Big fan. I like this little guy. I like I like the size. I like the feel. I, my one gripe is this is very pointy stabby. This flipper tab. If you miss it and you come down on it, it's very um or if you like miss the flip, it's very uh, aggressive. It doesn't feel nice, but action's great. Very, very nice. Acoustics on the Mini Occipiter. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Sounds great. Ooh, a little ting on the clothes. All right. Couple of concepts I don't mind. You know, I've only ever really reviewed one, I think, in this channel's history. So, uh, so yeah. Fuck. Look. You don't know until you know. You know? At least that's what my mom always told me. But my mama been wrong before. Oh, shit, I don't know, dude. Hell, I don't know. 
Very nice. And finally, one last knife. We'll do some cut tests and wrap this up. The Boker. Boker. What is this? Boker Plus Quiken Air Mini Fat CF Prop. No, don't know what prop means. Is it a typo? Is it supposed to be perp? I don't know. Oh, God. Boker Plus Box. Boker Plus Pouch Rooney. My favorite snack as well. Always my favorite snack. Let's unzip the old pouch here. And what do we have? What is buying door number one? Inside the deli meat wrap? Inside the... the, the ooh, whoa! It, it was supposed to be perp. But it said prop. Damn, Boker. All right, girl. Look at that. What is this called again? Quiken Air Mini Fat Carbon Purple. Fat pur purple fat carbon. D or, is this stainless or... No. Yes, yeah, stainless, not titanium. Super thin. This is uber thin. Deep carry clip. Beautiful purple fat carbon scales. Stainless steel liner lock. Super minimal ultra. Literally just a flipper tab and a pocket clip. Like, uh, otherwise most people aren't even going to know this is a knife. This looks like a fancy lighter. Doesn't even look like a knife. Love the all blacked out air dam thing. Blade tucks in perfectly. Blade centering is cash money. All right, Boker. Damn, boys. So, super thin. Like, uh, like obnoxiously thin. Here's a size comparison. <laughs> Here's a spider compare three. You know. Here's a tactile knife called Rockwall. <laughs> so, yeah, not, not a lot going on there as far as size goes. But, hey, I'm here for it. Let's flip her open. Ooh, nice. Nice and snappy. Nice jimping on that flipper tab, by the way. Just like a literal pencil. Not even a knife. A literal pencil, dude. Very cool uh, skeletonization on those liners to keep the weight down. Is that a G10 backspacer? Might be a stainless backspacer, Mom? Yes, it is a stainless backspacer. Very good. Just ultra thin. Ultra, uber, extra, insanely thin, man. About the same length as a pair of three. A little bit longer than the Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. But just so absurdly thin. Like, no, <laughs> nobody's even going to know you're carrying a knife. <laughs> really nice. Ergos. Yeah, you know, it, it's long enough. It fills the hands. No jimping or texturing anywhere. And it is, relatively speaking, just a rectangle. So, you know, take that for what it is. But yeah, that feels fine. Thumb on the blade. That feels fine. Usually not my favorite blade shape either. And because it's so short. A VG10 on the blade still, by the way. Uh, because it's so short, it's really hard for that for that blade stock to thin out enough to be like a laser beam but we'll see in the cut test but yeah that feels fine no real finger twirl you can get to about here that feels okay it's just so thin it's almost awkward pinch grip it's a little a little sus it's a little sketchy on the pinch grip you know not my favorite not my favorite you can do it for three or four days a week but not all day every day no way very nice lockup is solid very solid access to that liner easy enough running on uh, ceramic bearings Action solid. Super snappy detent. Flipper tab works great. Comes rockets that blade right out of there, man. Yeah. Honestly, drops to the nail pretty well. For as thin and light as that blade is. Whoopsies. Missed it. Yeah. Action's fine. For like a little gentleman's purple carbon fiber knife. From Boker. Why not? VG10, not my favorite steel. Uh, acoustics on this one. Not a lot going on. What are you going to do? Still makes an okay noise. But there you go. Thank you, Mike McLaughlin. We're going to do some cut tests now. Uh, in the order that we unpacked these beauties. Let me zoom out. Oh, I'm stuck. We got the Finch Anteater. An what? Chern Chernobyl Ant. Future me, I need prices on everything. Finch, Chernobyl Ant. We have the Orion Cetus. Big fan of that. We have the concept reverie we have the concept mini assipiter and we have the boker plus quiken air mini fucking purple fat carbon prop oh and no that's from a different video i got too excited but let's cut something with all these see how they see how they do i got two pages don't worry never know let's start with the finch let's cut something finch chernobyl ant yeah, 14C, 28 in on that blade. Nice, nice little knife. Super slicey. 
Cuts like a damn dream. A+. Plus. How about the old Cetus? Nice hollow grind on this one. Again, 14C, 28 in on that blade steel. Love that blade shape. Love that. Cutting performance. Yeah. All day. All damn day. Very nice. A+. Plus. The concept. Reverie. This one's in 154CM. Nice tall flat grind. Designed by Justin Lundquist. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's the sliciest of the three so far. But Concept tends to do a dynamite job with their factory edge and a decent job with 154CM. So it checks out. Yeah. The uh, Concept Reverie cuts like a damn dream. How about the old mini Assipiter from Concept? That one's a little a little more rough around. Oh, no. She's good. You just got to get the angle right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She'll cut. Like a dream. Like a damn dream boat, dude. Oops. Yeah, very nice. That one's a little sketchy. I uh, we'll see. We'll play around with it. See if we can't get that to act uh, act right. VG10 on the Boker Plus Mini Air Quake and blah blah blah. Oh, fart yeah, dude. Excellent factory edge. Very nice. Oops. Well, I may have spoken too soon. No, she cuts. Oh, she cuts, baby. Very nice. Surprising again with a blade that short. It's hard to really thin it out enough to get a laser beam out of it. But she cuts. And that's all we really look for. Thank you, Mike McLaughlin, for the generous donation. I'm sure a lot of people, five people to be exact, will be very, very happy to win one of these beautiful knives on a future giveaway. 8K, give me the 8K. We'll give away a bunch of knives. And thank you so very much for the gong. I can't thank you enough. The, Ed, the Uncle Ed gong, it's, it's perfect. It's everything I could ever ask for. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's a long video. Thank you. If you watch this long, leave a comment down below. Leave a like. Subscribe. Become a Patreon member. Become a channel member. Hit me up on the TikTok, on the Instagram. Hit up Mike McLaughlin, wherever you can find him. He's a sweetheart. But that is it for me. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.